stop freaking mail merging and thinking of a personalized email. Let's talk about cold emailing and personalizing emails. A lot of people email me templates and asking me, is this a good email? And the answer in almost all cases is no, because all they've done is they've copied my template or someone else's template. They've tweaked like one line, they've mail merged. Okay, now we have the website owner's name in there, which is good. Or maybe just we have their current rankings or their website address. And now this is a custom email, except for the fact that you could email that to every single business on the planet and it would still be the exact same email. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how to personalize your cold emails so you actually get results. Before that though, let me show you an update on the cold email outreach for my new agency so far. So since my last email, we've sent an additional 50 free emails. Out of that, 22 of them are to the generic email address and 31 of them are to the owner's email address or the marketing person, some person within that company. Now, the stats here are a little bit different to the previous ones, okay? It's the same-ish email template, we tweaked it a little bit, but here's the stats, okay? So, out of 22, obviously 22 of them were sent, none of them bounced, which is great. We had seven opens at a 31.8% open rate, and out of that, one person responded, which isn't that great, but 4.6% response rate is, is in line. It's just not that many emails. Beyond that, we had another campaign. Again, this one is to the owner or the marketing person in that company, whichever we could find. Now we sent 31 of them. Again, none of them bounced at all correct. 31 delivered, which is great. And we had eight opens, which is a 25.8% open rate and three responses, which is a 9.7% response percent response rate, which is pretty decent. But again, some of those people, I think two of them people were asking, hey, stop emailing me, please, okay? One of them requested a video audit. So out of this so far, we sent 50 free emails. One person requested a video audit. We got on the phone with them afterwards and we've gone for a proposal with them. And we're still in the kind of negotiation phases of what exactly we're gonna do for them. It's a little bit of a complex project because you have multiple websites. But that is the update on the stats so far. Beyond that, we just set up another campaign yesterday, which is going out to another uh, 200-ish people, and that's gonna drip out about 30 emails a day. Now, we really should have been doing more, but we just have a lot of other stuff we're working on, so it hasn't really got enough attention yet. But that is an update on our emails so far. Now, let me explain how exactly we're setting this up so you guys can do the same, so you can write effective emails. So look guys, here's the deal. Writing emails is extremely easy if you remember one simple thing first. Number one is that you're emailing them, you're interrupting them, okay? Now what does that mean? It means if you're gonna interrupt them, you sure as heck better not interrupt them with some offer about why they should help you. You know, most people are emailing saying, you should hire me for SEO, you should do this, okay? You wanna go with the angle of you have something to offer of value to them. Now, the way I approach this, as I've explained a million times before, is I do what we call a video lead magnet technique, where I email them and say, hey, we have this video, and this video could be anything of value to them, but in our case, it's gonna be either a case study, or what I'm doing right now is just a video audit, basically. I'm offering a video audit of their website and you have this video as a value and you say, hey, would you like to see this? Now, the approach I'm taking is very, very direct, meaning that I'm straight up emailing them saying, hey, I think you're a good fit for our services. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna offer you a completely free video audit of your website to show you how to capitalize on this opportunity that we identified, which we mentioned in the email, if you like the video, then hey, maybe you'll hire my team to help you. And if you don't wanna hire my team or you don't like the video or whatever, then hey, you get a free video audit of your site. Okay, so worst case scenario, they get a free 10, 15 minute video reviewing their site from an SEO perspective and helping them increase the traffic. And best case scenario, hey, they like it and they hire us, right? That's the approach I'm taking. It's a very, very direct approach. In fact, our subject line, I'm not gonna share what the actual subject line is, but it's basically along the lines of, hey, this is an SEO offer, right? It's very, hey, open this up for an SEO offer, right? It's very, very direct to what we're doing. Now, if you look at the stats that I showed you with this new campaign, we actually got a higher open rate, granted it's only seven opens, 
with the generic campaign where we experiment with a different subject line. Now, does that matter? Well, I don't know. So we're testing that on the new campaign now to see, hey, maybe this very direct approach with the subject line is less effective for a generic one than it is for the owner's campaigns, right? So we're gonna play around with this. This is all about testing, okay? So that's the first thing though. Make sure you lead in with some value and a video lead magnet or people call it the fake video audit method is a very effective way of doing that. I'm not actually doing the fake video audit method. I'm emailing them saying, hey, I will record a video for you. Okay, I don't wanna be lumped in with everyone doing those fake video audit methods these days. So I'm emailing with a very unique angle to say, hey, I've identified you as a great potential client, as a great potential site to work on for SEO because of these reasons. So would you like me to show you how you can tap into these reasons and get better results? And I'll send over a video showing you how to do that, right? And explain, yeah, if it's good, you maybe hire me. I'm very, very upfront with my approach. It's very, very straightforward because I know how to write that in a way that works, okay? So it's just, it's just good practice of copy. Now, here's what is important when you're doing this, okay? So I could just give you the template we're sending. I'm not going to because everyone's gonna rip it off and it won't work anymore. I have to write a new one. But here's the important thing. I just sent an email to 53 people. This was about a week ago now that I sent this campaign out, right? I sent it to 53 people. I set up another one today for about 200 people. Now, what does that mean? It means that I write a template for a segment of people. If you could imagine you're in a bar or something, you wanna go talk to someone, right? You could go up to someone and if it's like a girl at a bar or something like that, you could go up to her and just say, hey, you're, you're really cute, right? I just thought you're cute, I just wanted to talk to you, something like that. It's a very generic line, you could say it to absolutely any girl and it's good enough and it'll work most or some of the time, I say most of the time, right? Or what could you do? Well, you could walk up to someone and personalize that message. You say, hey, is that a Pomeranian you got there? I really like dogs or I really like Pomeranians or whatever. Now you'd word it a bit better than that, but you personalize that message to who you're, you're contacting. Now you're doing this one at a time, it's very, very easy, right? You look at someone, you say, hey, do you have a Pomeranian? Let me comment on their Pomeranian. You have a look at them and you see they've got this specific watch or this handbag that you, you know, then you mention the thing they have. That's if you do it one at a time. But what if you wanna scale this a little bit better? Well, that's what we're doing when we're emailing 50 people or 100 people or 200 people in a single audience or segment, right? What we're doing is we're identifying people that have similar traits. So we're emailing everyone, just a very simple example, every single person that's a Pomeranian owner and they're getting a single email relevant to them owning a Pomeranian. Now, what does that translate to in our business? It translates to certain um, site setups or certain size of traffic or anything like that. So we're looking at metrics like that and we're personalizing emails to different segments based on that. If you're doing local SEO, here's a really awesome segment that I would target. I would identify within your vertical, within your niche, I would identify all the multi-location businesses. Now, how do you do that? It's not really my problem, go figure it out. But if you do that, you can email them and say, hey, I'm emailing you specifically because you're a multi-location business. I'm looking for multi-location business to work with, maybe you mentioned afterwards, and I wanna offer you a huge piece of value, basically, I wanna audit your website. Again, you write this way better than I explain. I can write much better than I can speak, right? And you offer them basically a free video in exchange for nothing, right? Just in exchange for an entry, like a foot in the door if they're looking to hire someone for SEO. And that's it. So it's just massive free value, but it's personalized. How many people do you think get an email saying, hey, e how many people do you think get an email saying, hey, I'm emailing you because you're a multi-location business, right? Most people are just saying, hey, I saw you're not ranking on page one of Google. We do SEO. Would you like a video audit showing how you can get first page and maybe compete against these competitors, which works, but it's very, very vague, okay? So here's the key to personalization, just to make it very easy for you guys. If you can send this template to more than a thousand people, it is not personalized enough. Now I'd say smaller, right? If you can email it more to 500 people, it's probably not personalized enough also, but if it's over a thousand, it's definitely not personalized enough. So if your audience is gonna be a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people, which it should be or more, right? We have um, a list of three and a half thousand 
uh, e-commerce stores or email in. So within that, we have loads of segments. One of them was 53 people. Another one is quite big. It's going to be about 2,000. So again, within that 2,000, okay, how can we divide that smaller and smaller and smaller? What are other data factors that we can look at to divide that segment up smaller and then email them specific to that? So we're emailing e-commerce stores, right? So what are things we can separate it? Maybe we can email Shopify Plus stores, which are spending upwards of two grand a month for, for their Shopify store. We can email them a specific email that's personalized based on that factor, whether it's mentioning that they're on Shopify Plus, mentioning that they're an enterprise client or anything like that, but personalizing it based on who we are emailing. That is what personalization means. When I teach people personalize your cold emails is the secret to success beyond actually caring and adding value to the people we're emailing. When I say personalizing, I mean personalizing who it is for. That doesn't mean mail merge, and this is what really pisses me off. People mail merge the name of the person. So it says hi name, and they're like, well, I'm done. I'm a genius. I have mail merged this. I have personalized it. This is a custom email. This is great. And guys, everyone can see straight through that. Now look, hey, that is better. If you do a little bit of research, find the owner's name or the marketing person's name and you mail merge that in there, that is good and you should do that. And that is better than emailing, hey, nothing or, and definitely better than emailing, hey, website name or dear, yeah, you get these emails, right? As the worst ones are like, greetings is a growers day, like really bad English. But beyond that, you get emails, it's like, hey, owner of website.com or something like that, which is ridiculous. It's the absolute worst, right? So mail merge is better than that. A mail merge is good. You should use mail merge, but that is not what I mean by personalizing. That's just tweaking little bits in it. It's very obvious that it's pre-filled in. You want to personalize based on who exactly you're emailing. Now you can do this with a bit more manual work and we're adding this now where we do a little bit more manual research for every single site and we implement that into it. So it's actually kind of a custom email, even though it's mostly based on our template, it's a custom email for every person. But what we're doing now, which is working, which landed our first client and got the second potential client lined up, we don't know if that's gonna work out or not, but proposal and in anyway. What we're doing for this with e-commerce now is we're emailing based on the same template for everyone, but we tweak variables of that template. Actually, I shouldn't say variables, I should say entire sentences, entire paragraphs of that for specific segments of 50, 100, 200 people. So it's a custom email for that group of people that fit into these data requirements based on their traffic, their domain rating, and different factors that we look at using various different tools. Okay, so that is what I mean by personalization, not, hey, name. That is not personalization, not your ranking number eight. Firstly, who really cares that much? It's not that much of a value add. The client even knows or they don't care. So what can you do to add value? And the way I put it is basically showing them that they have a big opportunity available and offering to help them show how to tap into that with a free video with absolutely very little pitch. There is a, there is a, a little pitch in it, but my, my angle is basically is, hey, let me help you out for free. And if you like it, maybe you'll hire me. And if you don't want to hire me, then I don't care. It's, it's, it's good either way. We, we like to help people out. And we actually had one of the people that we emailed this offer to um, basically emails back and say, hey, can I pay you for this? And that was pre-sending the video just because they didn't want to receive something, I feel kind of obligated to have to hire us or anything like that. So anyway, that is how you personalize emails. Basically, stop freaking mail merging and thinking of a personalized email. If you can email the same template to more than a thousand people, it is not personalized enough, okay? You want to personalize it based on the people receiving it, not just on the, the mail merge, not just on the name being in it, not just on the URL being included in it. So just look at how you can personalize it based on those audiences. And what we like to do is we have to pull up a whole bunch of data on these companies, like how much traffic they have every month, how much they're spending every month, if we can get hold of this information, of course, um, what the domain rating is, all these different things like this. And we're looking at what segments can we create using this data to email them specific things. Now this is for e-commerce, which is a little bit different. If you're doing local SEO, you naturally have segments of local businesses, obviously. But how can you take that further? What most people are doing is they have the exact same template for 
every dentist in every city across the entire country. And that's not personalized enough, okay? That is not personalized. You're like, well, I personalized their competitors in there. Personalized, and they mean mail merge, very different thing. They mail merge the competitor's name in there. They mail merge the keyword in there, which by the way is the same every time. It's a dentist in city name. And they mail merge the name of the owner in there, right? So that isn't personalized. If you can send that same email to every dentist in the country, it is not personalized enough. So focus on personalizing it just for one city or for one segment. Look at how you can personalize that for different segments of your audience. That's gonna really ramp up the open rates, but beyond, like, I don't care about open rates, I care about response rates. And that's really gonna ramp up those response rates. Now, for the actual messaging, look, learn copywriting. I, I could send you to like buy a course or something like that, but look, study the classic copywriting books like David Ogilvy and um, Gary Halbert and all those guys called Hopkins, all the classic copywriting books. And then beyond that, look, that's, that's good learning. Okay, do that in your evening, something like that when you have extra time. Beyond that, write an email every day. If you, if you suck at writing email copy, then write an email every day and maybe do 10 of them and email 10 businesses manually every single day with a different personal approach. Now, what's that gonna do? Number one, it's gonna get you way better responses because it's a personal email just to them. Beyond that, you're gonna start getting a little bit better at wording these, at writing a little bit better, making it sound a little bit more compelling, okay? But I'm not gonna give you like, oh, here's a template. You can look up the old templates I shared before. It's not the best approach. You wanna focus on, you have your offer, okay? So if you listen to me, you're doing my approach. You have an offer, you have a video lead magnet. Now this can be some video of value. It's gonna be either a case study ideally, or if you're doing it like I'm doing it now, which is just a video audit and that works too, okay? Both of those approaches work very well. So you email them, you have this piece of value. Now, what you gotta do is convince them that they should get it. And the way you do that is, hey, reply if you like this. So you already know what the email is. You already know the purpose of the email. Now you just gotta message it based on who exactly you're emailing. Does your industry, does your niche have specific lingo or anything like that? And then beyond that, what is the segment? Combine all this together with a little bit of practice, a little bit of copywriting knowledge to write a compelling email. And again, if you're not sure how to do that, email 10 people a day manually, figure out how exactly you word that, what exactly works, then you can kind of template that a little bit and then you can use that template. For me, I just offhandedly wrote a template just for the fun of it, just playing around with what exactly I think would, would work well. We tested it out, we landed our first client from those first 40 odd emails, whatever it was I showed you guys before. And we're just basically using the same template over and over again, but we'll switch out like a paragraph to personalize it to each individual segment. And then we're testing on top of this with subject lines and different things like this. So that is how you do cold emailing. You create a template that is personalized or personalizable to different segments. You create tiny segments of 50, 100, 200 businesses that you can email, and then you send the emails. Again, I'm using Woodpecker to do this. You send out 20, 30 a day is fine, and then you monitor results and you keep testing and tweaking things. As mentioned, we're testing out different subject lines now, and we'll test out different messaging and stuff later. But that is all there is to it. You personalize to the segments. That is the point I want to make because people keep asking me, hey, is this personalized? And it's no, because it's a mail merge. And mail merge does not equal personalization. So that is it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the email. And I want to give you guys a better strategy for writing your cold emails, which is basically learn copy, write emails every day, and personalize to segments, not just mail merge. I hope this is helpful. And I'll give you guys another update soon on the agency.